How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. On this channel we always cover upcoming content for Forza Horizon 5, whether that's updates, leaks, just general information, we always cover it. And lately, over the past few days, there has been quite a few big leaks going around regarding the first expansion. We've got a bunch of information about this expansion, we've got images, we've got all sorts to cover in today's video. I'm going to cover it from start to finish and then give you my thoughts on it. And I like to dig deeply into quite a lot of things, so we are going to dig deep into the images and into the text to see if we can find anything that implies that it's fake or implies that it's maybe real. So if you do enjoy this video guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel, we do stuff like this all the time. Obviously before I show you the first thing, these are all leaks, these all could be complete rubbish, they could be real, they could be half real, half fake, just take it all with a grain of salt. Just because I'm covering it doesn't mean you should believe it, you'll see later on in the video that I actually do have my doubts with quite a lot of this which you will soon see, but nevertheless it's quite interesting to look into it all. Now this whole expansion leak started with someone on 4chan who made a huge post talking about his experience and his time apparently working briefly at Playground Games. It was an internship that apparently started in July this year and it's only just ended, so a six month period where he gained all of this information and all of these images which he's now leaking to us. Seems a bit weird, but let's have a bit of a deep dive into what exactly he said and what he showed us. As I said, this post apparently first appeared on 4chan and then made its way to Reddit and it's been sort of posted everywhere now. He talks about how he never had access to the computer, he never had access to any development, he just has the information and images. He talked about the previous Horizon locations, why they were considered, which ones were considered instead. Now he says a few things about Forza Horizon 5 as well, about how the Outpost logos, you know the Festival Outpost logos, had originally had a different design which he does actually show us. And he actually shows us that a drag and a drift festival were sort of considered and designed, once again we'll show that in a minute. He then goes on to say that Rocket Bunny were cut from the game in September, Lancia, Fears and Alfa Romeo were also cut from the game in mid-July. Everyone knows that they were cut from the game, so he could just be making the reasons up. And then at the second half, he gives us all the information that we're talking about today, the Horizon 5 first expansion, City Expansion. He goes on to say that the DLC is a large city area. It's completely fictional and made up, but it's based off multiple current Mex Mexican cities. They've apparently taken landmarks from a bunch of Mexican cities and combined them all into one fictional city for the expansion, which they have named Alta. A-L-T-A, Alta. That is apparently the name of this potential city expansion. He says that the campaign will revolve around three leaders who you must defeat for sprint racing, circuit racing and drift racing. I do not know anything else apart from the fact that Horizon Festival is not centre stage. He could just be babbling on there, don't really know what to make of that. And he also said this is the first time in Forza history that the DLC is rated higher than the base game, which will be T for Teen. That's the first red flag for me, I don't really understand why it would be the case for the DLC, City DLC to be rated for teens. And then he goes on to say that the customization will be added in the DLC as well. The Nissan 350Z and the Honda NXX were given body kits that will be added for free for everyone to use and apparently some vehicles were given a unique window system which allows for the for vinyls to be added to windows which means window stickers. It also says that Rocket Bunny will return to the series when this DLC comes out, however all the Rocket Bunny branding has been eliminated and they'll be now be referred to as Tandem. This is where the red flags start to pop up for me. He seems to know a bit too much about what's going to be in this expansion. He knows too many fine details. He does as well say at the end that the Xbox Series S and X will have full open world ray tracing in the DLC as well. Now it's not only that that seems hard to believe, but there are quite a few other sentences that he said on this sort of, you know, text that just seem hard to believe. For example, near the top, when he was talking about Japan being considered as a location, he said the following, he said, The location was not brought up again until late 2017, when the development of Forza Horizon 4 was just starting to be prepared. He's implying here that the Forza Horizon 4 development was only being pre prepared or starting to be prepared in late 2017. And if you can remember, Horizon 4 released late 2018. That seems hard to believe from me. Everybody knows that Forza Horizon 4 was being developed a lot sooner 
than December 2017. Now let's move on to the images and see what we think about them. These images were all given to us by the very same guy that made this post. Now the first image actually ties up directly with what he says about the festival logos. He mentions that there was an original different design for the festival outpost logos and that the drag and the drift scene would have their own festival. Well, he gave us this image right here, which does add up with that. As you can see, these are very similar to the current festival logos. However, drag racing and drifting now have their own sort of logo and their own festival. It definitely does add up with what he said about drag and drifting having their own festival. They have their own logos here. Well, that's very interesting to see. The next images don't add up quite as much. Some of these next images seem a little less real. Let's get to them now. The next image is a picture of the proposed city. This is it here. This is the apparent leak of the map for the first ever expansion for 2005, the city. It doesn't look massive, it doesn't look tiny. I'm not quite sure what to think of it. Obviously, this seems like a very early stage sort of development map, sort of just thrown into the middle of a green area with a bit of blue uh, ocean down at the bottom. And as he mentioned in his post, I don't know if you can see, the very faint yellow road which sort of swerves around the edge of the map, that is the proposed highway which goes around the top of the map. Now, along with this city image, he actually gave us another image which is exactly the same thing. It's yet another image of a city expansion. However, this one's a bit weird. At first glance, it actually seemed like a completely different city. However, however, I'm just very quickly switching to Photoshop here, and I'm going to copy the first image that he gave us onto the second one. I'm going to cut out the first city, as you can see, we've chopped it out, and it's completely different, as you can see, completely different size and everything like that. However, if we rotate the second image that he gave us horizontally, we can actually match it up exactly to what the, uh, the other one is. Now, I can actually warp this into place and it matches up perfectly. There we go. That is both of the images directly on top of each other. They're exactly the same. However, there are a few differences. As you can see in this image right here, the highway is not there. If we go to the first one, the highway is there. And if you look a bit closer while I'm switching them back and forth, you can see that there is the odd road which disappears from one of them and comes on the other one. So, so I really don't know why there are two images for this city, which are actually completely different. It's the same city layout. One of them has extra roads. One of them has the highway. One of them sort of a bit more inland. It's very, very, very weird. Now you could argue that these are different development stages, you know, one of them was an earlier version and they've updated it and added roads and added the highway. What do you think of it? Do you think these city expansion images are real or fake? Now there is another image that he leaked as well and it is this right here. This is a supposed image of the Forza Horizon 5 Mexico map in a development stage. You can sort of see the volcano on the left hand side and the city at the top. This does seem very credible. This does seem like a genuine Forza Horizon 5 Mexico map development image from the early stages, which would make this guy more credible. If he has access to an image like this, maybe he's a bit more credible. However, this very image was found in high quality in the Forza Horizon 5 game files, which, this, which means this guy didn't leak it, it's been sort of public anyway within the Forza Horizon 5 game files, and we actually have the high quality version here. We can see that this is the Forza Horizon 5 map. We've got the city at the top, we've got the volcano on the left, we have the farmland in the middle with the pyramids. It is the Forza Horizon 5 map. It is quite interesting to see it in its development stage though. This is very interesting to see. But unfortunately, because the guy that leaked the first expansion showed us this, it doesn't make him any more credible because anyone can get this. It was in the files. Now there was actually another leak entirely a few months ago from NVIDIA. This supposedly leaked the code names for the Forza Horizon sort of game and the expansions. These code names were Project Woodstock, Project Nightlights, Project Ventura and Project Upside Down. These are four project code names for projects which are ongoing for Forza Horizon 5 which were leaked by NVIDIA. It's likely, it's possible that two of these projects are a 
expansion, which means that if this city expansion is real, one of these four project names is the city expansion. And to me personally, I don't think that Nightfall, Ventura or Upside Down are words that have anything to do with a city. Not really sure. Although the whole point of a code name is for it to be a code name. You know, no one's supposed to really be able to figure it out. Now those were all the leaks that were shown us. Now I'm going to tell you my thoughts, what I think is real, what I think is fake and my conclusion of if I think it's fake or if I think it's real. As I said earlier, there are a few things that this guy said in his post which just don't add up. From the Forza Horizon 4 development time to the Mike Brown quote to a few things like the details he said in the bottom in the bottom paragraph about window stickers and Rocket Bunny returning but under a different name. Some of that just seems weird to me. The second thing is that he gave us four images. He had access to the Playground Games information and he had access to images, he knew loads of things and he only gave us four images. And one of those images just happened to be an image which we could find in the Horizon 5 files anyway. To me it seems like this guy might have found this image in the Horizon 5 files, pretended he found it himself from the leak just to give him a bit more credibility. It seems unlikely, out of the hundreds of images there probably are, he just happens to pick one of them which we could find ourselves anyway. And then onto the two cities, it just, it just looks gimmicky, it doesn't look real. If there really is a city expansion in development out there, there probably are a lot of prototype and development images, but I think that they would look more like this rather than this. To me, this looks too finished and unfinished at the same time. The roads look exactly where you know they're supposed to be. It looks exactly how it should, but then everything else on the outside is just very clattered and very, I don't know, it just doesn't look quite right. But the interesting thing is, this map has obviously been taken from somewhere. This is either a satellite view of a real life city that this guy's faked, it's a city from a different video game, it's got to be one of them. So if you're watching this video and you agree with me that it's quite dodgy, probably not real, let's try and find out where this map was taken from. Is it a real city in real life? Is it from a different game? Is it a combination of both? Let's try and figure it out and debunk this for real. My final sort of opinion on whether I think this is real or fake. From zero to 100, if 100 was me believing it's 100% real and zero was me believing it's 100% fake and 50-50 in the middle was no idea, I'd say 40, 35, 40. I don't really know, but I'm leaning towards fake. I'd love to be proved wrong because a city expansion, I'd love that. I'd love to be proved wrong, but we'll have to wait and see. What do you guys think? I've tried to cover this from start to finish, all of the information you need to know, all of the images. We've had a deep look into them. What do you guys think? What's your final conclusion? Let me know in the comment section below, guys, and make sure to subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't enjoyed even more Horizon 5 content. See you all there.